Hi everyone! Welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. Hmm. So uh, this is where we left off. I ran out of disk space last time because I filled up my hard drive with too many videos. Oh. Alright, I'll come back. Less snooping, huh? Sorry about that. Whoa, cow bug. Interesting. I'm guessing it's a bug type. Passing. Yep. Okay, so I've got one of two options here. I can send in Blipper. And kill it with Blipper. Hmm. Well. I guess Blipper, well, also, I could just catch it. Let's go, Blipper, let's go. It shouldn't be too bad, because it's probably a weak Pokemon. It's in the orange and it's paralyzed. Yeah, there you go. It's the Love Bug Pokemon. It shares characteristics with bug and mammal Pokemon. Being in its presence is a common effect. It's eight, I guess that's inches tall, and it's only a pound and a third. Yes. I'll name it. Chubbo. Yeah, look at Bolty. <gasps> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's power. Another Cubug, huh? Go, Bolt. It's your boy. Got a plan here. Hmm. At this low level, they might not have attacking moves. I suppose I actually haven't looked at any of my other Pokemon and decided catching them. <laughs> Let's go, Blipper. Let's go. Right. Shamu. That's okay, because he lost defense, but I lost. Gasto. Well, I suppose that that was to be expected. Hmm. Now I'm I'm not very mad. Just a little Ooh. You know, the river is populated by Portal, they're poisonous. I'd carry antidotes if I were you. Sure dude. Let's just get a staff attack going. Accuracy, huh? Let's bonk ya. Yeah. Right, let me 
me try something. Stop. Okay. Oops. Now let's see how this looks and works. I'm gonna stick with this for a little bit, just to see what it's like. Hey you, we're gonna battle now, okay? Bloodcatcher Flood would like to battle? A cubbug, huh? Those it tracks, he is a catcher of bugs. Couple tackled me. Okay, that doesn't really matter to me too much. Rip Cubbug. And another cub. I will not switch, I will stay. This is a level 5 cub up now. Stronger, you know? He didn't lead with his ace. Unlike me, I'm leading with my ace, and if I die, I'll just kind of have to mop up everyone's bodies with, uh... Oh, man. See, this is one reason why I was like, maybe I shouldn't play a Pokemon game, because the early game is all just like, ooh, what's the bug, what's the bird, what's the brat, you know? And then we're all just tackling each other back and forth. But, you know, no one really plays Pokemon for... Uh, you know what? I am going to head back. It's now longer, but I have been leaving far too much in the sunk cost fallacy. It'll be better for me if I just go, you know? Besides, that'll allow me to use all my tropes. My specialized hat. Oh, it's certainly, uh, the level difference is certainly helping. Alright. Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Okay. I've set the screen to very small, so if it looks bad on recording, that would be why. The actual intention was to make it so I would take up less space with each recording. And since the game is pixel art, it wouldn't, like, lose too much fidelity. Taking a break from all the tiring adventuring? You know it, Grandma. Anti-Grandma. It's quiet without you. Beaten any gym leaders yet? Whatever, Grandma. And what if I had, like, a VTuber face? I was just thinking about that. I'm watching a lot of VTubers in my quarantine. Because, yes, my quarantine is still ongoing. I'm watching a lot of VTubers in my quarantine, and I'm thinking, you know, it's not bad. I see them. They do they. I do me. I've got a story that I'm not sure if I should tell. I'll tell the short and I'll tell the truncated version. Don't run away from me, he says. Oh, geez, dude. Youngster Richie would like to battle. Oh, it's ugly. I haven't fought one of those yet, though. But I suppose it's somewhat interesting. Ulti's just kind of... Uh, I never fight against poison. I don't know what how to attack it. I guess I'll just go for stabs. Ooh, crit. That's not great, actually. That's... Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Hmm. Not so much faulty. For Chubo? I'm feeling dangerous. Do it, Chubo! Basically, uh, at a job interview. Uh, I was mentioning how I was, like, focusing on myself because I was, you know, working on my mental health and stuff. And he was like, that's not what you're here to do. 
I don't feel bad about telling the story because uh, that boss got fired. <laughs> because I was not the only person who didn't. Oh, Chubo! Okay. Actually, you know what? I will switch in. Um, just because um, I want to ensure that both people do a little better. Yeah, at the early stage when no one has any stat bonuses and it's all just, you know, very limp Pokemon just kind of whipping each other, it's very, very blasé. And on the one hand, I'm not sure if that's like a good idea. Ooh, screw it. You know, were this not a trainer battle, this would be the ideal time to catch this. That's an ugly noise, dude. <laughs> Jubo. Crackers, I lost. <laughs> Pretty good. Want to change numbers? I'll win against you next time. You won't. You survived the poisoning. Jubo survived the poisoning. Alright, and then let's... Save. Yes, it's okay to over. Bust my bag open. And I'll potion bolt. And you know what? I'll save. And then um, I'm going to cut the recording off again. Because um, I'm just checking to see how the recording's doing. Hey, alright. So it looks like uh, my theory was correct. Recording it in a smaller window does, like, cut the actual size of the... I'm going to delete this one. Yes, I'm sure. Yep. Delete this one. Alright. And that's me. An antidote, cool. Anyway, yeah, um, making the... Oh, you need Rock Smash already, huh? Interesting. Making the uh, screen a lot smaller absolutely does change how it gets reported. Go, Bolty. Oh wait, this is probably going to kill in one hit. Oops. Liber. I am, in fact, just going to grind. I might be able to fight things with Glitter. Yep, it's a Burby, but it's stronger. Mm, I'm not gonna risk it. Take a chance, you know? So I'm just going to switch out to Pokemon. You know, this game should really have Pokemon walking. And I say that because every Pokemon game should have. Pokemon does this hilarious thing where they get this amazing new mechanic and then completely throw it in their trash next time. Every time it happens. Every single time. It drives me absolutely insane. Like, Gen 1 doesn't have much. Gen 2 has all the baby Pokemon and the new eggs and the new mechanics and whatever. So, like, that doesn't really count. But it has Pokemon walking, which only comes back in the remake of Gen 2. And a little bit in Gen 4. And just huh? walking with your Pokemon behind you is this amazing mechanic. It's super great. I love it so much. It's so cool. And then they just never do it again, ever. I don't know why the Pokemon company, Game Freak, is so terrified of repeating ideas, even if people like them. 
We had Mega Evolutions in Gen 6, and then those vanished? Um, and like, it was a really cool idea. You know, it was a completely new paradigm shift in Pokémon to like, change how it worked to instead now have a full evolution, essentially. And they just completely got rid of it. And then they were like, okay, now we're going to have Z-moves, you know? And Z-moves was the new thing in Gen 7. For those who don't know, they're big, hilarious, like, gigantic anime moves that uh, annihilate the battlefield and your opponent. They're usually a bit much to use, I find. They are a bit unnecessary in terms of oops. In terms of how much damage they do, they usually overkill. And in many cases, uh, you could use a regular move that's super effective and it would be better. I never found too, too much use for them, even though they were pretty cool. Flipper leveled up. Heck yeah, Flip. Alright, I'm gonna head on now. Kevlar Town. There's a Pokemon here. Um. Speak to me. You can talk to people multiple times, sometimes they say different things. Just like that, it'll work. <laughs> Very Dark Souls of you, sir. Um. Yeah, and then they just vanished Z moves. I wanna get a bike. The shop here doesn't have a bike. Lame shop. Men lied to me. Ooh, you have the little owly. Train hard. Do you uh, have any hope of beating Maria? Maria. She's the now talk city gym leader. This is the Tandor region I'm in, I believe. Can I not talk to you from across the desk? Okay. You walked in here, which means you need a bike repair. That one? Figures. Uh, I've sold everyone a bike. Bring me a bike wheel. Okay, so we'll just get the key item bike wheel and bring it back here. And then we get a bike. That's nothing Pokemon games should do, just... Oh, hey, here's your bike. Oh, who's this lady? You know this town, it's small but homey. Good place to raise a family someday. Hey, let me know, girl. Oh, you better. <laughs> You're talking about kids already. Why couldn't we raise some Pokemon instead? I'll take your place, bro. Anyway, Z-moves. Yeah, and then they completely get rid of Z-moves. And Z-moves have gotten no mention in Pokemon Gen 8. And now the new thing in Pokemon Gen 8 is Gigantamaxing. Mori's always crying to get people to do something for him. He wonders why he doesn't have any friends. And the thing about Gigantamaxing, leave me alone, is that, um... It's an upgraded form to a Pokemon. How can I serve you? It's Bonnie. Give me... Wow, I got a lot of money. Seven. Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. Why not? Ah, oh, dang! I should have bought more in last time. Can I sell anything? Gigantamaxing is, like, specific. And so, everyone's... Like, the Pokemon company knows that Gen 1ers exist. Wanna hear a good joke? I get 50 people to join a bonus. Pokemon. Is remember the commercial where uh, they hoard a bunch of Pokemon onto a bus and then crush them with, like, a like a crusher? Dream is living, now talk. Coolest city in Tandor. Yeah, Gigantamaxing, and to an extent, Mega Evolution, was just catering to Gen 1-ers. Hello, young trainer. Is this your first time at Pokemon Center? I'll show you around. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Dang it. It's a hospital for Pokemon. My sister will restore her Pokemon. They're free, because we got Obamacare. Use them as much as you can. So all there is, is a PC. 
Tandora's system was developed by someone named Twitch, so it's called Twitch's PC. I don't know who they are. Twitch is the developer. Oh, no, I see my Tandora Network. Oh wow, it even has online play? That's kind of wild. Alright, I, I would I love tours. I'm glad you've taken that tour. Put me up, girl. I can't. Anyway. Cause Charizard came out and everyone's like, oh Charizard, I'm eight and this is cool. And those people 30 years later now have disposable incomes. And they're like, I'm 30 and I remember liking this as a kid. And then, so that's why they put uh, Mega Evolving in X and Y, right. Jeez, I almost forgot the name of it. What's this place? Girlfriend's mad at me, so I'm buying her flowers. Fire cookies, bro. Welcome to the berry shop. Dum bum bum. Baku berry. Oh no. This is such a Pokemon thing. Why did you have to do it, you know? It's one of those things where, like, mods and fan games have the absolute ability to fix the things wrong with a game, and then they choose not to do it. It drives me bananas. I keep getting off topic. Gen 1ers have ruined Pokemon. We need to destroy them all. I don't want a big boat and make them play Digimon. That too, huh? So is there no gym there? Oh, hi. Heard out in this area. Ooh, I want an Alpine. Here's your Timmy. Burbank. Oh, it's stronger than me. Uh, excuse me. You're gonna have to dip. So, like, the Canada Gen 1ers, when they make all the Gen 1 Pokemons get Mega Evolves, and then the occasional, like, Gen 6 Pokemon, and then sprinkled throughout, there's a couple other Gen Pokemons that get them. And then in the remakes, they cater to Gen 3-ers, which is not too bad of a problem, but Gen 3 is also known for kind of starting the catering to Gen 1-ers, because it was when they remade Gens 1. And now in Gen 8, we have Gigantamaxing, so there's another Charizard again. Yes, I will see. I will put in... I know I'm kind of training them in a stupid way, but this is how I know. I don't have anything that I'm super effective against right now. Uh, unless I see another Kalbug, then I can actually fight with these guys. I think Chimney Mnyanonk is actually a normal type though, which means I won't have anything that can actually kick his butt. It's a little unfortunate, but I suppose that's the way it crumbles. You know, I also hear Confident Search as the NG crumbles. Oh dear. Well, let's kill him fast. Or... unalive him. Yeah, Blip, you get him. Ooh, Blip learned Growl. A move I will definitely annihilate. Which secret? I'm switch training, bro. Oh, wait. I want to look in the grass. I want to know. Uh -huh. Alright, let's see if Blibber can actually defeat this foe. All by himself. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if Gen 3 got remade another time. Well, this is going to be a real kerfuffle. My first attack did negligible damage, and then he keeps lowering my attack, so they do even more negligible damage. That's it, I haven't actually taken a hit, so we're good about that. That reminds me, my Chimney Young actually has a- Ooh! Ooh! Look at you go! My Chimnin Yunk actually has a, uh, uh, 
the summary. Uh -huh. Had a max repel on. Uh -huh. I usually don't use items because I'm still in that, you know, second grade mindset of Pokemon where it's like, I can something like item. Ooh. So it'll be an even match then. My level 5 Burby versus a wild level 5 Burby. But ideally, mine will be stronger because I love him. Cool. You sorry fool. Oh, Blibber, you took some damage. Oh, boy. Go, Blib. It's your birthday. You gone Blib like Blib. Yeah, he did it. Wow, look at him go. A cupulug. I wonder what the evolved forms of these all look like. Cupulug is probably just going to be a bear that has like bug parts on it. It's shoot butter effective. Ooh, that means that I can actually switch train with uh, this boy now. Go, Chubo. Switch out. Come back. Foe's weak. Get him, Chubo. That's okay. At this rate, I've got you've got such little health that I feel like a soft breeze could uh, kill you over. Let's go. You're merely postponing the inevitable. That was my girlfriend. I love you. The bird, Chubo. Yeah! Yeah! Look at them. Pokemon just has kind of an appeal to it, you know? Uh -huh. Even with all the shenanigans going on, I feel like it's very hard to hate Pokemon. Like, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, whatever, Pokemon, and like, that's bad. You know, they don't care about it, because it's not their thing. And it's not really my thing either, but I just saw these pokes, and I was like, ooh, I like all of those pokes. They're all very good folks. Oh, Blibber. Blibber's died twice, guys. I'm really sad. He's just so weak that I can't really train him very easily. Get him, Chubbo. Alright, Chubbo's going to attack now, just because it's the attack I have. Uh -huh. Chubbo did it! Chubbo game, 32 XP. Um, every Pokemon has a niche as well, for those who don't know. Um, oh wow. Uh oh. You tough enough to make it through the cave? Well, we'll see, I guess. I got Larry look like that one. Oh, there's Mankey in this game? Damn. I just looked at the original Pokemon, um, which is why the intro has... This isn't great, I'll be honest. Oh boy. Alright, Shurek. You had your day in the limelight. Come back. Let a real Pokemon handle it. No one likes you, Shurek. Try to remember to move away from the mic, dude, then. This, uh, for whatever reason, this setup really makes my voice obnoxious. It makes all the little sounds very, very obvious. Mech is getting ready. Ready. Larg! Oh, I'm Mankey and I'm fainting. Shrek might have done something. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Go squat. Very cool. Um, I think Barrel's 
steel? I don't know if I have anything that beats steel yet. I guess I'll stay in just to keep my strongest poke out. Um, Pokemon is short for pocket monsters, which means that it doesn't actually make sense for me to call these pokes. Oh! Oh, he hung on because he's got sturdy, right? Oh, it's a little hardening little boy. Well, then maybe we can do some switch training. It's a trainer poke, so I do want to get that stuff. Anyway, um, poke is short for pocket, because pocket monsters is what Pokemon is short for. No. Oh, Chubo. Tackle him back. Oh, Chubo. It's not very effective. Oh, Chubo did it. Oh, I'm proud of you, my boy. Chubo grew to level 5. Hiker Larry. It's up alright. Heck yeah, boy. Pretty good. I have to go back and heal. Yeah, the thing that makes sense is for me to call them Mons, but I don't want to do that. I've just decided, you know? I know another thing that I was trying to talk about. Um, all Pokemons have a special ability, and that is... All Pokemons have like a niche, that is to say, so like bug Pokemon are very good at leveling up quickly. Which is one reason that I want to get training Cubug out of the way, because once it reaches max level, then it'll be a max power. Actually, wait, this is probably a good place to stop. So let me hit a quick save. Which is to say to save quickly, not to quickly save. And then, um, that's uh, Pokemon Uranium. Don't tell Nintendo about this, I might get C and D. Um, Thanks for coming by. Stay curious about the future. And I've been Alfred. Uh, thank you.